All right, here we go, spectating another match of Territorial I.O. This one's a little bit bigger, that way it's easier for us to... That's the second time I've spectated Territorial I.O. match in Europe today, and spawned, like, right up in this area, right around here. Interesting. Coincidence? Or does the game choose your spawn point based upon some combination of, like, your name and letters and stuff? Since it's using the same name, it gets similar spawn points? I don't know. Something to be had there? That'd be very interesting if, like, they chose your spawn points based on, like, your, like, some... Oh, you've got 13 letters in your name, you spawn here, 12 letters in your name, spawn here, your alphabet, you know... Okay, we, we calculate each letter is worth, okay, the U is... The Y is 25, and A is 1. Add them all up, divide them by this, and they put you on XYZ coordinates. That'd be kind of cool, right? That'd be kind of neat. There we go. Roxy McGurdia is attacking you. How the heck did Rock? Okay, so what are, what are the odds of Roxy ending up next to me? I was literally, like, these were not chosen spawns. These were not chosen spawns. If those of you are unfamiliar, Roxy streams, uh, stream snipes me every single match. Um, I spectate. And these are random spawns. They could not have, have intentionally, like, how the heck do you, are you always <laughs> spawning next to me? How? Like, this is just sheer coincidence This at this point, because the we like i swear to god like every time i spawn somewhere like half the time they're there how does that happen this time it's not like they chose it on purpose i need to actually watch them what are they doing they're they get 230k they're not waiting for red interest. we're gonna spectate roxy because roxy sometimes does pretty well interestingly enough they are okay they push us out there it looks like they're not actually waiting for red interest it looks like they're just like uh they were attacking this guy, even though they were, um... I know you want to watch the whole match, but, like, Roxy McGurdy is somebody who quite often does really well. And I want to see how their gameplay style works, so... I saw them attack this guy who had more land than them and less troops. But they're not attacking this guy who has more land than them and less troops. But what we saw there is they're not afraid to attack. Um, yeah, see, there, there, there they go again. So, Roxy McGurdy... I'm not sure if they're waiting for red interest or not, because I can't tell, but I, it does show that um, they're not afraid to start a fight with somebody who could honestly just mess them up. So that's something. And now they're gonna now they're gonna get pushed out by this guy. So maybe the reason Roxy Magurdia does so well is they like they play risky. They play risky. Like maybe I play too passively. They get in there, they take risks. Sometimes they get pushed out. Sometimes they don't. But yeah, the, you know, if they're bigger than somebody next to them, this is assuming it's even the same person. It could be somebody else using the name to be honest. I talk about the name a lot, so maybe more viewers are using it, whatever. That's also, that's also a valid point. That could just be somebody else doing it. But they're going to get pushed out pretty soon unless they uh, form some kind of alliance. And they're still boating in trying to take out this guy. Yeah, they don't. They just don't care, man. They're just, like, they're just, they're just hyper-aggressive on anybody less than them, even if they're like at risk of getting bodied by bigger guys. And they just kind of like, they just ignore the bigger guys, attack guys that are a little bit less than them, and hope to not eat a full send and call it a day. And... Maybe that's like the strategy nowadays, huh? But now they're in a situation where they're smaller than everybody around them, so... I mean, they're probably going to... Yeah, this, they're going to get slowly pushed out here because their luck's ran out, huh? Hmm. Maybe that's a strategy I can try employing. I'm just like, don't wait for red interest. Just, you know, if your troops... Wait till you have like 50k more than the guy next to you, 100k more next and attack them a little bit and hope others join in. And if not, well, just get pushed out. Although, to be fair, I mean... Didn't work... Maybe they're experimenting with a different strategy they don't normally use because they just got bodied here. This guy's just got rolled. Moose Crossy's doing great. Okay, let's actually spectate properly now. Maybe that's something I can do. Pick somebody to, like, spectate early on. And then once, like, you get to, like, three, four minute mark, we zoom out and commentate on more people. Moose Crossy's doing pretty well with the... Oh, about four million troops there. Aaron Yeager's down here again. Chilling over there. <laughs> it's doing well down here in, uh... I believe this is Turkey, right? Chat? Turkey, I think? Um... And this guy's uh, chilling in rush over here. He'll carve through them eventually once it's more easy. Milk and joys. Milk is tasty. Um, you know what I have you know I haven't had in a long time? Ice cream. Sounds good. Uh, this guy's leaving. Um, carving through all of them. This guy's trying to boat his way down to them, but uh, a little bit late there. Ooh, this guy's trying to get in on it, huh? And uh Hmm. We're chilling over here. I want to get like a better zoom. There we go. I want the zoom, the borders touching the board like this edge here touching the top edge of the screen. That's close. There we go. Bow right. Um, ooh, this guy attacked him a little bit. Interesting. Oh, what's that? Leftists are trash. That's not very nice. 
Every human beings are human beings. All right, let's not let's not like hate people just because. Oh, you believe in something different than me politically? You're terrible. Like, come on, man. Half the country is left. Half the country is right. You tell me half the country is bad? Come on, man. Life's more complicated than that. Stop oversimplifying people. Um, there's good people and bad people on both sides. All sides. There we're chilling here. All belief systems have good people and bad people within them. Just how it works. This guy's been slowly pushing through him. This guy's like, no, no, no. He's trying to like rally the troops against him because he knows he can't take the 1v1. He's slowly getting pushed out because this guy is bigger than him. He wins the 1v1 slowly over time. So this guy's going to be like, he knows he's going to get pushed out slowly over time unless he can rally these troops against him. I'm not sure I love this play from him attacking him. I feel like they're both better off trucing and like working together against smaller guys because if they just fight each other eventually, most likely what happens is these guys eventually get bigger around them, fighting the small guys, or um, one of them just full sends the other and screws them both over. If you're the same size as somebody next to you, and you have smaller targets, both have smaller targets, form an alliance with the big guy or the same size guy and go for the small guys, it's just, it's just, it benefits you both, improves the odds of both of you winning, you know? Like these guys right here, they're better off forming an alliance and go for this, and like work on the small guy usually, unless, you know, I guess in this case, uh, Jaeger might not get much of it, so you can like push through him to have better angles on it, really. This guy's, I like this guy's position down here in Turkey, because uh, he's got a good path here to boat through into this guy. He can go through 969, get a little bit of that. Um, he can try and boat up here into Oof, or if I'm him, I, I kind of want to like, I kind of want to boat my way up into Oof a little bit and have access to these small guys right here. and. Maybe boat across here. Just some boats give, some, give yourself some nice options. Aaron Yeager. If I'm Aaron Yeager, I'm tempted to like... If I'm Aaron Yeager, I'm probably looking at this guy right now. Glory to our stop. Glory to our stats guy. Isn't that the name of a video game? This guy is a CG plus Roxy equals content. <laughs> I think at this point, like, people are just going to like use that Roxy name as a meme. Like, the original Roxy player is going to be gone eventually and their name will live on because like we're gonna start seeing like multiple multiple roxies in, in matches because everybody's gonna start using the name we'll never know who the original is this guy's full sent on something see if this guy had boated up here he could be gobbling up all that land but instead i don't even know what he's doing he's not boating here um oh he's slowly oh he, he's trying to avoid boating he's i mean i guess that works too carve through this guy and then then have access up there i mean yeah that that's one way to get done aaron yeager is pushing through this that's the right play for them Get all of Italy there and all these little bits and bobs down there. Um, yeah, this guy's just kind of like... These both guys are just dead men walking, really. Yep, carve these guys and go for Saxony uh, next. And see how these guys went to war for a while and now what's happening. People are just getting bigger and bigger around them while they're sailmating. Fighting somebody the same size as you or a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger is just not the right play unless you have literally no other choice. You want to... You want the small targets. Unless you know for a fact everybody's going to gang up on them. But yeah. Like this guy's insistence on starting a war with him just really screwed them both over. Unless these guys just are like... It's still... It's not too late. Maybe this guy... You know, they all gang up on him. He gets a big chunk of that and he rolls through. I'm not sure why this person just left. Was somebody attacking them? Was uh, Betrayal, Ben Trail attacking him? Maybe their game crashed? I'm not sure why they left. Maybe they had to leave. This guy's chilling, carving through people. Slayer's pushing through Greater Serbia right now. Looks like Aaron Yeager's starting to work on Slayer. It's not a great thing for them, um, because Slayer's got a fair bit of troops and a bit of land. They'll win the fight eventually, but it'll take forever, and Player will get a nice chunk of the land too, and so will them. But they really don't have a lot of choice. The only other choice is to like try and boat up here and fight them, and the boy will take forever to get there. Um, so it's and they'll just make they'll, they'll, just, they'll just make Slayer stronger, to be honest. So unfortunately, there's a situation where they have to like slowly struggle through this guy base their position, whereas this guy's uh, just got a, a, nice, a nice bunch of small ones to go through. I I think him attacking this guy right now is actually a decent play, because um, he's got... Uh, his troops aren't like aren't that high compared to him. Oh, the full send from him on him is interesting. If Antonio's paying attention, think a lot of this. Look at how slowly these two are reacting. This complete lack of awareness right here. Either one of these players, like, five seconds, ten seconds, like, they just... Zero awareness. Finally, they realize it. This guy could have had all of that. He could have had all of that. This guy could have had some too. Terrible board awareness on these parts. Zoom out your map, little guys. Have some awareness. Jeez. You should miss out on so much land. To be honest, I think you're probably screwed this point because nobody's really ganging up against the crown here, but... You know, 
Nobody's in a good position to really gain against the crown. Sometimes a player gets such a big dominant early lead that there's not a lot you can do. That's kind of what happened here. And uh, unless you have like a bunch of veteran players who are willing to risk themselves losing, they're just going to win. Like, yeah, when he was like around the size. Okay, now we got somebody who's willing to take the risk. Player here is attacking them. Yeah, they're, they're starting to realize. So player here is like willing to take the risk. Looks like, okay, okay, starting attack. They're trying to rally troops against him. All right, we got Antonio is so they attacking them and they're attacking them. Yeah. So we got some players who are willing to take the risk and try and uh, take the crown out. You know, couldn't try and take one for the team. Looks like Aaron Yeager is trying to get in a little bit. It's like Slayer. Did Slayer actually bolt their way up there? No, that's uh, CG Roxy's content over here. All right. Unfortunately, uh, player needed Antonio uh, over here to uh, get in on that well as well instead of focusing on the little guy. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, that didn't work out for them the way they wanted it to. Um, looks like Aaron Yeager and OKOK OK, OK tried a little bit to get on it, but not much. Um, you guys should be trying to get in on this at this point, right? Yeah, we'll see full sense to get some of that. It's good for Slayer. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, him sacrificing himself to cause weakness troops up a little bit, but we really needed Antonio to hit him harder during that. We needed OKOK OK, OK to hit him harder during that. We needed Aaron Yeager to hit him harder during that. Like, this guy was hitting him pretty hard, and these guys were like, uh, I'll hit you with 50,000 troops. Uh, I'll hit you with 50,000 troops and then attack this guy over here. Like, you, you, like, you see somebody uh, going hard on the crown, you kind of got to join them, really, right? See, Slayers, yeah, so we get, they're starting to, like, team up against him, but a little bit late, to be honest. Yep, he got pushed out, so he left. That's actually good for Slayer, because Slayer can get a bunch of this. Too little too late, though, unfortunately. This guy's chill. They're making the right play, chilling here, not attacking them back, because they need these guys to attack him, but they, uh, it took too long, like... If you just now start teaming up against the Crown at like the 10 to 12 minute mark, it's a little bit late in most matches. You need some others earlier to make the play. And it, we needed Antonio to also. It was really just one guy and him touching him a little bit. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up. There's no way these guys can beat him here. Um, unless there's some crazy upset, I'll, in which case I'll show it. But yeah, smash that like button if you like Territorial I.O. and you want to see more on this channel. Let's go.